Welcome back everyone to more gameplay of Farm Manager 2021. And we're going to start today's video uh, basically where we left off last time, but I have figured out the automatic buying and selling properties. No, it's not hidden behind any sort of research, which is what I initially thought it might be. It is in the most obvious place possible. So under the market, you have buying and selling, which we've been to both of these tabs, but the trade tab, I have not been to, I had in my head that that was something completely different than this, but it ends up being very simple to do. So let's take a look at exactly how this works. What we see are four separate items on, on here that I've been testing with, and these are the items that we need to feed our cows. So here you see the crops, here you see the fodder beets, the silage, and the grass. So anytime you add an item in here, you can use it for buying or selling. Essentially, you can use it to control the quantity in either direction. But what I'm using is purchase until. So basically, make sure that we've got 2,000 of the fodder beets, 5,000 of silage and grass and crops. Keep all of those at at least these numbers and then stop buying it. So obviously, we're well above those numbers right now but in the future as soon as we need to purchase more as we continue to expand the number of cows that we have this will be extremely helpful and obviously we can come in and change these amounts anytime we like so now we need to add a couple more items for what we're selling so let's go to add trade item and actually it's right here yellow cow cheese right here on the top so we're going to add that and we could keep a certain amount uh, if we wanted to, but of course we don't want to. All right, we want to uh, sell above zero. All right, so we want to sell everything, so it should take care of that for us. Also, uh, let's add another one for manure, and this is one of those things that we would want to definitely not continue to sell uh, if we were using it for uh, crops. So sell above zero. So now these two things will be sold at regular intervals. I'm not sure if it's monthly or bi-monthly or however it's doing that, but that's really not uh, a big deal either way. But right now I am pretty happy with this. Quite frankly, that is so simple and so easy to find. And yet I completely missed it up until now. Also, you notice that We'll keep an eye on these, but already we had a good bit in here and it was sold off. So now we are sitting here at $227,000. And again, we're going to watch this grow and keep an eye on it to see exactly what happens and when. So in our, well, there it is. It's already happened there. So maybe weekly or so. Again, we'll find out more as we continue on. But right now what I want to do is I'm going to go all the way to the end there and same thing here right did those line up okay I was worried there for a second that that wasn't going to line up exactly right so we are going to add um, a few more cow barns uh, let's go to animals and we want cow shits and this time I'm going to rotate these so they face uh, inward just to save a little bit of time for our workers. So that's one and two, and that's all we can do there, but that's okay because we also need to add housing for our permanent employees. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, now my next question is, do they have access to electricity right here? Uh, they do not. One of them will, the others will not. Okay, so we'll take care of that here uh, momentarily. Let's go ahead and add a road. And again, if we ever need to, if we put down a road and we end up needing to get rid of it, we can do that. So that's not a huge deal. So let's go ahead and get um, electricity over here. And I'm going to try to put this thing, where can I put this thing to make the most sense? And I think it's probably like right in here. Like right there. 
Uh, and we'll see how that works out. I'm not. I have no idea how that's going to work out. But uh, let's put. It, where can I put this thing? Can I put it over the top of the road? Does it even care that I do that? Uh, it doesn't seem to. All right, I think that worked. Let's go back into the electricity and just take a quick look at our coverage. There, yeah, looks pretty good. Then we're going to need another one. Again, this is pretty wonky. We might want to redo this at some point once we have a much better idea. Now that we know kind of how it works, um, I may very well do that here at some point. But for right now, uh, let's get on about the business of adding some more people and getting some more cows. So we need to hire a couple of workers and there's animals. And animals and endurance. Okay, there's number one we want to hire. Okay, so we'll let's take another quick look, see who's left. Okay, animals. And come on, give me another one. Nope, doesn't look like we're gonna quite get that. Okay, so I believe the one up here, 1763. Again, I don't spend a whole lot of time looking at that, but 1611. We'll go with that. Let's go ahead and hire this guy. All right, so Jasper. Fully taken care of. We'll go ahead and get him assigned. And then let's hop back into the house and grab Stanley. Okay, awesome. All right, so Stanley will go into the second new shed. All right, that is, that's what we want. Now we just need to get some animals in here. Let's grab some cows. And both of these. And then we'll come back in and take care of the food. There we go. So food there. And we're all set. Okay, awesome. Now granted, the placement here is not exactly ideal. Uh, of the warehouse. Now that we've gotten everything going, uh, that is not going extremely well. So what I'm going to do is actually add one. We've got plenty of money. We've got 200 grand. So I'm going to go ahead and add a warehouse. I'd rather have too many than too few. And we're going to continue putting these in the best possible spots that I think we can work with. All right. This, I think, is a pretty good spot so hopefully they'll just use the one closest to them for uh, the various things and while I'm at it let's go ahead and put put one of these down right here I'm gonna put it right immediately next to it because who knows in the future we might need a silo or something we can can stick into this area just for some uh, basic storage all right, so far so good. This is going to give us a little bit. All right, we're already starting to see some things be put in there. Okay, that is excellent. So how many how many cow sheds do we have right now? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that means that we should be able to do another processing center right here. And of course, we're a little bit of ways. Uh, from having enough money for doing that. Let's take another quick look. That's 340 grand. So not too bad. We'll leave it on fast forward. This is a game that I play a lot in fast forward for uh, certain amounts of time while the money is growing and so on. And then when it's time to slow things down, we can get some building done and some expansion. But for right now, things are looking very good. All right, let's hop in here and take a look at the trade. So we really don't need, I don't think anything else on here because we're not really buying or selling anything else as of now. So I'm happy with this, but I have to remind myself to continually come in here and look at it because if I don't, then uh, we will get ourselves in trouble. Now, one thing we could do right now is we could pay off that loan. Uh, we're at 244, of course, our loan 
is at on or around 200. Let's see where that thing is right now. All right. Did we already pay it off? That can't be right. What? Uh, that? No. No, that absolutely can't be right. What am I missing? All right. It wants me to be able to take out loans. However... Where's my existing loan? I mean, obviously we can't take out very much in the way of loans right now, but I want to pay one off. Can we do that? I feel like I am definitely missing something here. All right, so we got monthly wages. That's quite a bit, 31 grand. Uh, let's just look at expenses for a moment. Where is, where is our loan? There is yearly. Where is that at? What was it like? Forty thousand. Loan installment twenty thousand. Okay, that's not as much as I thought it was. I thought it was more than that. Uh, okay, so twenty thousand. When did that come out? It came out on the first of the month. Okay, well that's simple enough. Where are we right now? We're on twelve six. There should have just been one here very recently. So let's go back in. Loans, once again, this doesn't look exactly right like I would expect it to look, but that's okay. So expenses, they're not, it's not there. What happened to it? Did it remove it? Like, was that just free money? Or did we accidentally pay it off? <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't see it. I'm also looking down through here. I mean, did. I mean, I don't feel like we had an opportunity to pay the entire thing off, but I mean, I'm seeing loan installments there on 9-1, and it's gone. Okay, I'm a little confused by that. But for right now, that may be a bug, unless I am just completely missing something. But uh, yeah, this is not making a whole lot of sense to me. We should have that debt still there, but... For now, we'll just move on, uh, and we'll spend that money as best we can. So, two hundred seventy-seven thousand. We need three forty uh, in order to get to where we want to be, which is to add another processing center. So, while we're uh, while we have a little bit of time, let's take a look at where we are on the processing. So, we have over two thousand milk in this one. And you can see it's not even making a dent. So that's looking very nice. We're at 1600 here. We're at 2100 here. Okay, so we've easily got enough to add another one, if not two more, quite frankly. Because we're sitting here at six uh, cow sheds, three processing, and yeah, yeah, we've got plenty. So we're at 308 right now. Uh, this is killing me with this, this loan thing. So let's do this. Just because I want to see. We're going to take out a 25k loan. Okay, so three of these installments of 27.5. Okay, so only three of those. But we're going to see if it actually comes out. And as soon as, of course, we get to 340, we're going to be building uh, another processing center right here. But yeah, I am very confused by this. This has got to be some sort of a bug. There we go. We just reached 340. Uh, although here in just a moment, it's going to start taking money out. So we're going to do that. And there we go. That way at the end of the month, uh, and actually end of the calendar year. All right, this is the end of the field work. We should focus on the animals and repairing seasons, blah, 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 which is an excellent idea, but a little late in the year, actually, for, for wintertime. I know calendar-wise, that would be about right, but other than that, that seems a bit, a bit late. Again, from where I live. For where I live, you would not be growing anything into December, uh, not even in November. So let's go look for some employees, because obviously we're going to need four. 
right here and let's see what do we have uh, we need manufacturing so we got one I'm looking as always I'm trying to look for manufacturing and endurance together I am not finding it so I'm just simply going to start taking manufacturing and let's see this one works as well that's two there's three okay that's four so that guarantees us that we've got what we're looking for we have no electricity okay yeah this is we're definitely gonna have to to redo this at some point definitely gonna have to redo this but for right now anyway we are going to put it right on the edge of what I am allowed uh, and we're going to put that right there and connect that in to the grid. That should have us in good shape for now, but we're going to end up with a whole lot more of these than we actually needed, at least for the time being. Okay, so now we need to start assigning some folks. And let's see. Oh, let's go ahead and do the training first. All right, we have no money uh, whatsoever, so I guess we won't be doing any training for right now. Yeah, that ain't going to work at all. Not even a little bit. All right, so we'll let that work itself out. Again, end of the month, all the expenses come through, and we continue to spend money, so we're not helping anything on that note. All right, so let's, let's hop in here and see if we got... All right. Uh, loan installment. There we go. That is much less than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so, yeah, that works. But at least it's in there. Uh, because we hadn't been seeing it. But so at least it's there. And I, again, still have a hard time believing we paid that off. It's possible. I haven't done the math in my head, but it just seems like there was going to be a whole lot more payments than that. So, you can see now we're back up to fifteen grand. Uh, let's start grabbing these folks one at a time and start uh, doing their training. Because remember, the better the employees are, the better their production is, the faster their production. So there's a whole lot of benefits to making these folks as good as they can be. Uh, that is perfect. Uh, where are we? Machines? Did I grab the wrong person? I think I did. So, okay, so machines, I did, I grabbed the wrong person. Poor Phoebe. My bad, Phoebe. My bad. All right, so that means we need to go back into the labor market. And, okay, there's one, two possibilities. Uh, actually, let's just go, I like Blake right here. Blake, yep, yeah, Blake is the one we want. All right, so Blake, we will do, let's put poor Phoebe, and I'm sorry, Phoebe, but uh, Blake is getting the job, and Phoebe, let's go ahead and release you. All right, so now manufacturing, let's go ahead and take care of his training. I think that's everybody. Am I right? Manufacturing, yes, that should be everybody. Let's just take another glimpse through here. Just to make sure, no, uh, clearly I was doing the wrong thing. I'm going to have to really start paying attention more. <laughs> so, okay, we're good. We're good. Everybody's good. So, we have about 27 grand. We have 22 employees. And let's take a look. Where are they? Oh, they've already got 1,600 in there. Yikes, and we're doing the wrong thing. Uh, I forgot to change that. That's on me, clearly. All right, cow's milk into cheese. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and get this. Sell the rest of that off. All right, so now you get the idea. After a few videos here, we've gotten everything set up. And we're selling yellow cheese right now. Again, I think it would it's going to be the, the best option for us, but I didn't do the math. I just simply eyeballed it real quick 
And who knows, in the future, we, we may do uh, one of the other types of cheeses as well. But this is making us quite a bit of money. We're up to 69 grand right now. And you can see, even though we are in the middle of winter time, this is why uh, one of the reasons why I love dealing with animals. Winter time simply doesn't matter to us. It just doesn't matter. So where are we on housing? We got room for two more. And let's see. I'm thinking two more right here. That's what I'm thinking right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, animals. Small cows. Uh, let's see. Where do we want these going? I guess that's fine right there. Can we get another one in there? Yes, we can. And hopefully our electricity is fine. We've got it. Everything is set up so weird right now. All right, so let's go hire some more people. And let's see. This time, I need animals. There we go. We're going to hire you immediately because I saw you. And what else do we have? There's animals right there. So at least I got one more. Worst comes to worst. Okay. Animals and endurance. That's what I'm looking for. Good job, Oliver. All right. So let's get Harvey. Full training. And then Oliver. Full training. And then let's get you guys all set up. So Harvey here. And Oliver there. None of these folks look like uh, farm workers at all. Not even a little bit. All right, set up the food. I'll tell you what, we're going to be pretty good at this whole system of how to get more cows and how to get the whole thing set up very quickly. I mean, we're, we're running through this stuff right now. And the great thing, because we figured out how to automate the uh, buying and selling, is that we haven't had to touch any of this. Um, in fact, the milk that we have, that part of it uh, was just for my information to see how we're running on inventory. But really, we could get rid of this because it is an intermediary product. It's not really anything that we're selling or buying. So, in fact, we could set up a system to sell off the excess of that. But right now, I'm not really looking to do that. We're making good money right now so i'm just going to keep that excess just in case i overshoot the mark a little bit and get too many processing facilities and uh, we end up with some issues that i might have caused all right so once again let's take a quick look at the inventory of the milk we're at about 1500 there 1500 here 2000 and about 2000 okay money being made check and once again, we're in the middle of winter, snow all over the ground, and we are set. Let's take a quick look. Where are we on our training? We should be, uh, about April it should be done. So yeah, we're at 85%. So as soon as this gets done, we are going to jump into some of these others. And these others are going to be, I believe the breeding farmers training is going to be what starts our ability to breed the animals, which means that once we get to that point, if I'm correct about that, that we won't want to have four of four anymore. What we will want to have is two of four. And that way we can breed them through whatever mechanic the game offers to, uh, to make that happen, whether it's automatic or we need to do something, then we'll want to breed these. And that way uh, we can build our slaughterhouse. And my plan is to do that here on the other half of the top portion. So on 25% of our land. And then remember, we haven't touched any of this down here at the bottom yet. So we have, by the time we get done filling the entirety of our starting uh, map, we will have quite the cash flow. In fact, right now we're already doing uh, quite nicely. We're over a hundred grand right now and we've just spent money. So everything is going exactly as I would want. Right now we're full on our worker housing, but 24 workers, 24 worker housing. All right, so my plan is whenever we reach 
Uh, next reach that threshold of the 340, I'm going to add yet another processing facility. And then as that happens, uh, that will, actually that might be the last one I do, I'm not sure. And then we may start in on the slaughterhouse. Uh, we may use this middle portion here, because that's a good bit of land. If you think about that compared to this, you could put at least two wide of your cows in this area. Which means that we can get into some other animals, and that makes me very happy. Uh, it's also going to mean I'm going to have to redesign this, this top portion a little bit more, uh, because the animals we're into next may not use the same food. Uh, so, as far as where do we go next, what options do we have? Well, let's take a quick look. Again, it's going to be animals. We can go into bees. The problem with bees is if the mechanic is similar or the same to what it was in the original game, they only produce for about eight months a year. Maybe ten, but certainly not the entire year, the entire 12 months. So I'm going to probably stay away from those for right now, but they are a very good money maker. We, got in, we can get into chickens. We can get into ostrich. I have no idea what an ostrich would eat, but uh, we may be about to find out. Then we got fish. And let's see, pigs, I believe. And what else? Maybe. So we got pigs there. And then we've got our uh, goats and sheep. We may go, if... If I'm thinking about this correctly, uh, either pigs or goats are probably going to be a good way for us to go. But with the pigs, we need the slaughterhouse. So if we're going to do that, we definitely can't do it before we get done with the training for the slaughterhouses. So that's something to keep in mind. Whereas with the goats, we can always do uh, a milk setup exactly like what we're doing with the cows right here. But right now we're sitting at 181,000. What about our loan? Have, we should have already paid that off by now, right? Uh, no, we got one more. One more installment, it looks like, coming up here probably. Yeah, here in another day. So we'll have that paid off. And we will be looking good. So there we go. As the clock tips over, there we go, 149. Let's take a look at that loan. And yeah, we're good. Now, the interesting thing though is our loans, uh, it's gone. Remember, we had an option for much larger amounts than that. So again, something's going on there. Something that I must be missing. Maybe it's a one-time deal that you can get large amounts. Or maybe uh, it's locked in behind... Uh, the research. That's sort of my go-to because I know research controls so much in this game that maybe that's what did it. So uh, I am going to be very happy to see this percentage. So we're getting in here and if I can get it to scroll down, there we go. So we're at 92%. So just a few days away. Uh, we're going to, I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause the game here. We'll come back when it's time for some more research. All right, here we go. So it has... The calendar has moved on to April the 1st, and you can see we've got some areas that are now in the green. So that means the first part of this, and easily the most difficult part of this, is now done. So breeding farmers training, that's what we want up next. It only takes three days. And you notice that it increases the production rate of milk and eggs by 10%, so that's good, that's more money for us because we're making quite a bit of milk. And then also unlocks the second level for the cow shed. Okay, so let's go ahead and let that happen. And again, that's only gonna take a couple of days, so we're in great shape there. Now, I remember in the previous game, there was a spot where you could add that. Uh, it showed up on the main screen. Uh, rather than just having a, a pop-up to say, hey, this, this is done, it actually showed up on the main screen. But anyway, while we are waiting for that, which should be just any day now that that happens, uh, we have 285 in the bank. So now 300,000 in the bank. Uh, the only other thing I did, I did two things while we were there. There we go. So training 
success. I did two other things. So we're going to pause the game real quick. I went through and maximized the training on our existing employees. If you remember, as we were going through, sometimes money was tight and we didn't have enough money to uh, max out all the training. So I went ahead and did that. And then the other thing I did was I played around with the electricity a little bit more. Uh, so you're going to notice that we've got some nice, neat power lines going down the line here. I put one transformer right here in the middle. Uh, maybe not the best as far as placement, but you notice it did quite a bit by putting it there. That was a great centralized location. And then I put another one right here. So between these three, so you got one here, one here, and then one right here. It covers every building we have. So maybe not perfect, but it worked for me pretty well. And again, it gave me an opportunity to clean some things up with regards to our power lines as well. So with that in mind, uh, boy, it is so nice to have training done. Oops. Uh, training done so quickly and uh, easily. So let's get back in here and do some more training. All right. So let's see. Where do we want to go next? So industrial management for pig farming unlocks the third level of pigs. Not bad at all. Uh, in fact, we could go ahead and do that. Uh, it takes 60 days. Uh, but that's not a bad idea. Now, reducing the probability of disease, also a very good idea. Faster reproduction of poultry by 10%. Uh, what I'm interested in, though, is this. Faster reproduction of cows, sheep, and goats by 10%, which, of course, would indicate that uh, breeding is now on. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It'll take 60 days, but it just simply is going to happen faster. So let's go ahead and do that. And now let's hop in here and turn back on. I'm really starting to like the idea of adding uh, pigs over in this area. Pigs, the slaughterhouse, and, uh, and so on. That is really something that I think could be very profitable for us. So let's hop back over here to the animals and see what we've got. Uh, let's see, we've got small pig sty. There we go, medium cow shed. And so what do we get for that? I wonder how many we can fit in there. Maybe 10? Um, I mean, it would be eight if they just double the size. But maybe 10, maybe they're giving us a little extra. Or is that asking for too much? <laughs> Who knows? All right, let's take a quick look. Uh, let's see where we are here on, on this. We've got 1,800, 1,700. 1500 again, I'm looking at the milk quantities in here because no milk, no cheese, and then almost 2000 All right, next thing I'm looking at is make sure I changed everything to the yellow cheese. This is why I don't like to do too many things at one time because I get lost and forget what it is I haven't quite gotten done with. All right, so at this point, we have, let's see, that is two, four, seven, eight of these, so we could easily... And I mean easily take care of another processing center. So we're going to do exactly that. Production, milk processing plant. Let's go ahead and move that around to here. And boom, we got it. So now I'm going to set up some road. Okay, that didn't work out at all. Me and this road system are just not coming together exactly the way I would prefer sometimes. It wants me to go left or right when I'm not at all interested in going left or right. All right, there we go. So we also know that we're going to need employees. And so we're just going to keep things simple. I'm just going to put the employee housing right here. We've got plenty of room for it in our current grid system. So once again, permanent employees, we're going to put them right next door. I mean, you can't get any easier than that. All right, so I'm waiting for this thing to be done because we, there we go. We need to hire some people, four people to be exact. And manufacturing. And again, right now, I'm just going to take the first ones that pop in here for the most part that I see. So that's three. 
Uh, and last one, we'll go here. Manufacturing and endurance, my absolute favorite combination. The perfect skill. And then also endurance on top of that. So let's go ahead and max out the training. Uh, manufacturing, well, wow, he's already maxed out. I like it. One more for Molly, and she's good to go. Now let's see about Mia. Yeah, Mia's my favorite employee. She should be very good at her job. So let's go ahead and assign all four of these guys. And we want to change production to, once again, make some yellow cow cheese. And also, while I'm thinking about it, let's go and make sure... Okay, yeah, we had make had made a little bit of that. Okay, awesome. All right, this is perfect. Perfect. That, that is so many more. I still cannot get over how many of these. Now, I didn't have a lot of experience with the milk processing plant off the top of my head in the original game. I spent most of my time with the slaughterhouses. So, uh, I don't remember what the ratios were in that original game for... Uh, the processing, but I don't remember it being anywhere close to this. Uh, but I'll take it. I mean, we are, at this point, we are well on our way to printing money. I mean, we've got tons of money coming in at this point. So, uh, I think this is all the processing plants I really want to do. Um, and we'll see how this amount of milk continues to go. Meaning that if it continues in the future to climb higher and higher and higher, then we've got a couple of choices. We can either put down another processing plant or I can come into the market, add it to the trade section and say, hey, sell everything over a certain quantity and then let that be it. But I got to think that we are still producing a good bit more than we actually need. Right now, though, I'm just trying to give a little bit of a buffer to make sure we don't put down a lot of expensive buildings that we're not going to use. All right, so now that is a whole lot of work, but think about how much money we're making out of this small area of our farm. In fact, you don't have to really wonder a whole lot. Let's come in here and take a look. All right, so account history, we'll go ahead and bring up income. Uh, and you can see here how the money is coming and going. And obviously that is when we come in and we build another processing plant and or uh, additional cow shit. So it's no secret to where that's coming from. But you also notice the cow cheese, 1350 there for almost 28 grand. And let's see, we sold 835 there, 17 grand, 20 grand. I mean, this is... 20, almost 20 grand there, over 21 grand. So yeah, it looks like it's happening weekly, uh, would be my guess. All right, so let's go ahead and queue up our next. We got 88 grand, I think. That should be more than enough. We are done with that training, aren't we? No, we're just halfway done, my bad. I thought we were far enough along that we would be done with that. So I'm a month ahead of things. So let's take a quick look at what we're thinking about for the next step. Obviously, the next step, amazing step, would be right here. Third level of cows. We could get a huge amount of cows and then go with a slaughterhouse and make probably tons of money. So that's certainly an option. Uh, we could also go up here. I'm leaning right now to go toward pigs, just to give us something a little bit different to do. We've spent uh, the first few videos here getting our uh, cow operation set up for our cheese, so our cheese production is going great. It's making tons of money for us. I'm kind of wanting to get into pigs just to give us something different. Uh, and then beyond that, maybe come back to cows uh, for, you know, the huge cow buildings and some slaughterhouses. Uh, but again, we'll see how all of that goes in uh, the future. But I'm looking hard and heavy at this one right here. And it's only 50 grand. It does take a couple of months. But that's no big deal. Uh, we've seen, if you're leaving it on fast, the maximum fast forward, time goes by pretty quickly. And uh, at the rate we're making money, we should have no issues with money. But just as a quick reminder, uh, what is this going to cost? Is it going to tell us what it costs? 
Yes, it will. Okay, because the large chicken coop, we obviously can't make that yet, but it does show us the cost. So a large shed, there's a large cow shed is only 26 grand. So what about the large pigsty? 24 grand. So still not very much. And boars in there. Wow, that is, again, a little different. I love the variety in this game. I mean, we have deer, we have ostrich, we have everything in here. So there is no shortage of animals if you want to specialize in purely animal farming. That is unbelievable. So with that in mind, I think we'll call it a day right here. We had um, a very productive day. Again, you can see the money just flowing in by the week. Uh, expenses are taken care of. We no longer have any loans and business is going well. When we come back next time, we'll look at growing the farm. And again, we're going to pretty quickly get into pig farming and a slaughterhouse. But that's what we'll get into next time. For now, thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned for more Farm Manager 2021.